Diabetes is a common medical problem in Louisiana, and the pandemic was especially hard on those patients. And tonight's Medical Watch, Meg Ferris has some good health news for women with diabetes explain, and explains how you can be part of a free study for postmenopausal women. After menopause, when women no longer have their female hormones, midsection fat increases, muscle decreases. Metabolism changes are not all from age. Estrogen deficiency is also to blame. Many studies show postmenopausal women on estrogen replacement have a 20 to 35 percent reduction in the incidence of type 2 diabetes. Diabetic women have lower glucose levels. Tulane endocrinologist Dr. Frank Moves Jarvis has been researching metabolism and hormone replacement for years. He started with menopausal mice fed a fattening junk food diet. And these animals, of course, they became, uh, these uh, female animals, they became obese. And those that were treated by this exact estrogen treatment, uh, you remember the expression I said was that the fat was melting in the sun. Later studies were with women in menopause. My metabolism was down. I had gained a lot of weight. I didn't feel like exercising and I was miserable. Those results now published found that hormone replacement improved prediabetes. We had a slight improvement in blood glucose and insulin production. Okay, so that's good for diabetes. But those studies were only for a few months on small groups of women. Now his colleague, endocrinologist Dr. Dragana Louvre, will move research forward with diabetic and pre-diabetic postmenopausal women. We want to see if when you're diabetic, you already have a, a decreased insulin secretion. So if we improve insulin secretion, insulin production in non-diabetic women, maybe the effect would be even better in diabetic women. Improving diabetes helps many health problems, but now we know it's especially dangerous if you get COVID. Meg Farris, Eyewitness News. And that hormone study is looking for postmenopausal women who have diabetes or prediabetes. We'll have that number as to how you can get involved attached to this story at our website, wwltv.com.